I'm looking at the, the things I copied down from before. It could be the other way around. Like, I don't know what the style of... Are you... S Use the ivory key somewhere. Okay, there's a thing down here. What? I don't know. How do I... I don't know. What a... I don't, I don't know. What does it even mean? I can't put anything in there. Like, I don't have anything I can... Just shove the medallion in there? No. I don't know what this stuff is. Alright. Can we just turn it? No, not Uh, fail. Okay, fail. What am I doing with this? What the... what is going on? Um, I don't know. There's nothing else to pick up. Okay, go back. I don't know what's going on. Can you read Yuko? Robo Hans. Such a special place. It's your dream, Hans. A dream come true. And... The manners? Yes, Kate. Play the song that calls them. You are no help at all, Hans. You are no help at all. What am I... What is this? Like, what is... Is there anything else here? Is there like something on the uh, on the frame? Is there something? Let's turn that again. Huh? The sand dropped into this thing. I don't know if that means anything. The sand dropped into that symbol there, which is. That symbol there. Is that right? Yeah, okay. But that doesn't quite help us yet because I don't know what to do with the panel. I don't have anything to stick in it. Okay. Okay, let's go back. Let's look for something we might have missed. Along the way, resist the urge to look at the walkthrough. There's nothing here, right? Can I go down there? Because I mean, we came up here straight away. Can we actually go through this way? No. Why would they... let us... I don't know. Stupid Yuki. I'm done. Alright. Who cares? Siberia 2 walkthrough. Okay, we're almost there, right? With Rune on the Ice. Now we passed that. Solve that, calling the mammoth. Take the. Take the ivory. Oh, by the way, I got it back to front too. I have to take the ivory key back out. It's just the same key, guys. It's the same key. You didn't miss anything. Just use the same key. Awesome. Thank you. That's great.
question. It just kept clicking on things until something worked. Right. Also, this is back to front. The star means it's open. The circle means it's half open. So, that's supposed to be open. And that's supposed to be closed. And that's supposed to be open and open. There we go. It's the same key, guys. It's the same key. Let me guess. Actually, I don't remember. Let's see. I know... This one. Is it? Yes. Did that do anything? Um, Mammoth Rider, that's the sound. Do I need to change it? That's the friendly one, by the way. What is going on? Let me just go back to the Mammoth Rider one, which is... That one. I don't know what's going on here, guys. I don't see any mammoths. Nope, I don't see any mammoths! I don't know what's going on. No. Um, leave the... I think on the panel I don't to Open, half open, half open, close, open, open. Click on either top or bottom, far right hand. What? I have to what? Click on the Oh, these things. These things.
And that's the end of the game. Okay, well. A cool story, right? That's a pretty cool story. I don't know about the penguins in the Arctic, but, you know, aside from that, pretty cool story. <laughs> I'm not sure if the, uh, the Ivan character was really necessary. Like, you know, the stereotypical bad guy with the British accent, that's kind of... I don't know, I don't, I don't entirely agree with that. Like, it's, uh, it's... It feels like a... You know, it feels like a stereotype that's not really realistic. Like, the character's not complex enough. You know, with characters like Hans and, and with Kate, there, there's complexity there, right? I mean, Kate, she's, she's got a life back in New York, and then she just leaves and go, looks for mammoths. And, you know, relationships and, and things and empowerments and things. Like, it's, it's complicated. And Hans, like, he's, he's got a you know, big, long story. Like, he used to be a, a smart kid, and then he fell on his head, and he was a dumb kid, but he turned out to be a smart kid anyway. It's like this misunderstood genius. I mean, it's, it's, he's got a complex story. The bad guys, they don't really have any complex story. It's just, like, why are they so mean? Why are they like that? It doesn't really, um... The game doesn't even bother trying to explain to you why they would be so mean-spirited. So uh, yeah, I'm not those characters. I'm not a big fan of. But yeah, I mean, again, I I do have a problem with the whole adventure game genre. It's not just this particular game. I like the fact that I kind of disagreed with with some of the puzzles and some of the and the walking. <laughs> But that's not a that's not a problem with this game in particular. It's just the whole adventure game genre is just not. I don't feel like it it's 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 developed well. I remember the old text-based adventure games, um, and they were they were kind of good, given the limitations of the technology at the time. But as the genre has evolved into graphical games like the the Lucas Arts and the Scum Engine. See that like the scum engine, it's got a bunch of commands. Like it's got you know go to and look at and talk to and pick up and push and pull and things like that. So that's like an it's like an evolution of the old text based um, adventure games where it's still technically commands, but then the commands are like buttons on the screen. And then now they've you know as the games have evolved, they took that out and then just have you click on things. But the one thing that didn't translate well was that, you know, in the original text-based games, when you say, you know, when you look around, you, you type in, you know, the command look, then it will give you a description of, of the surrounding, but within the words of those descriptions, they would say things, like they would they would kind of list, list things that you can interact with in a way. Or even if they don't, I mean, some of the less, less straightforward games will kind of, you know, hide these in the text, but it's in the text, you know? Whereas when they jump from text to graphics, when you have a when you have a picture of a of a room, for example, that picture may contain a lot of things in it, but the number of objects you can interact with is still very limited. And then you end up with the problem of you know out of all these things inside this room, what is the the, the three things that I can actually click on? Then all of a sudden the adventure game genre became hunting for pixels to click on. And that, I think, is a bad thing. And it's, I don't think it's ever recovered from that. Because no one wants to do that. Until now, as I said, with the, uh, with the Heavy Rain game and the uh, Beyond Two Souls game. I think it's starting to pick up again. Like, they're, they're trying different things. And they're trying to kind of push this particular genre forward and get past the... Yeah, like it's one of those genres that, because of technology, they really need to innovate. I guess other games are the same, like shooters. You know, Doom is technically 2.5D, like it's not even a 3D game, mostly. But I think ID Software, you know, jumping from Doom to Quake, and then from then on, you know, based off of the, uh, of the Quake, wasn't Half-Life 2 kind of roughly based on the Quake engine at first. So, you know, as, as developers have made more and more first-person shooters, they've actually developed a genre in a way that uses the technology well. Whereas adventure games, I feel like they haven't done that. 
yet. And yeah. Anyway, I should stop rambling. It's a, it's a fairly decent game, apart from well, the, the usual adventure game problems. Pretty cool story, I kinda like the story. Alright, I'll stop rambling. I'll see you guys in whatever game I play next. <laughs>